Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my journey into the natural skincare world. So if you're interested in natural products or natural skincare remedies, just keep watching. So I want to start by sharing a timeline of when I first started my journey to where I am now. And I am so, so happy with the products that I'm using now. And they're so simple, I just can't even believe it. So let's go to the beginning of my timeline here. And we're going to go through this really briefly and then I'm going to get to showing you some products. So I started my natural skincare journey at the beginning of the year and I had just decided that I, I didn't want to use so many chemicals on my skin all the time. When you think of everything that you put on in, in a day's time, lotions and you know uh, shower gels and everything, everything all together and skincare, I just felt like I wanted to use less chemical preservatives, all of that stuff and kind of go into a more natural direction. So the first brand that I discovered that I really liked was Boja. And I use this for a really long time. Oops, sorry. And this is their clear complexion line. And this is their uh, cleanser, toner, treatment. And I was using that happily. It, it worked really well with my skin. And then for moisturizer, I was using their revitalizing black hydration gel. So that little set of four items worked really well for my skin. It cleared like any little breakouts. I used to get cystic acne. Um, that's that is a whole separate issue. I already did a video on that. That was caused by um, certain food allergies that I have. So, but for little breakouts, you know, or that time of the month or whatever, that really helped control a lot of that. So you might ask then why on earth would I switch from something that I know is working for my skin in, and delve into the unknown? Basically, two reasons. Number one is cost. Boja is a pricier line. I get it at Sephora and it, it is more expensive. And when you're continuously having to resupply, you know, and just like this alone is $35, it's, you know, it, it adds up. So I thought, okay, well, my skin's really balanced now. Maybe if I can just switch over, you know, switch directly over to something else that's natural, my skin would be still balanced and I could do it for less. Now, reason number two that I would consider switching was because I did have some skin concerns that I knew that that wasn't going to solve, which was number one being acne scarring. Post acne scarring, I have on my cheeks and my temples mostly. So I wanted to kind of help with that. And I knew that the Boja skincare line is great, but it wasn't really going to help fade the acne scars. It wasn't really working in that way. So although it did balance my skin perfectly, I wanted to solve kind of some of those other issues. So those were two reasons that I wanted to kind of keep exploring a little. So that's what I did. And from the very beginning of the year to uh, just last month, I was testing all different kinds of products. However, I did give each product and each set of products, you know, each brand, its time. Uh, plenty of time to see what it was doing with my skin, if it was helping anything, helping any scarring, you know, making sure it wasn't making me break out or whatnot. Some of them did make me break out and uh, there's there's a lot of natural products that have a ton of ingredients in them. All these different oils, like a whole big long list and that made it really difficult to uh, sort of like figure out which was irritating my skin, like what ingredient, it, what ingredient was working for my skin and what was irritating because there was just so many on you know, on the label. And just because a product is natural doesn't mean it's going to be nice to your skin. There are definitely um, problems and uh, irritations that can occur, whether it's natural or not. So once I realized that the products had too many ingredients for me and I couldn't control the experiment as it be, I knew that I needed to simplify everything like as as simple as I could get. So I started using products that it was just one ingredient and that's all it was. So I switched to essential oils and masks where I could mix my own ingredients. I knew what was going into there and I knew that there wasn't gonna be anything that was gonna irritate my skin because I was in complete control over every, every ingredient that was going to be touching my skin, soaking into my skin, everything like that. So I'm gonna start with some of the masks that I really like, and you guys may recognize some of this stuff. This is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, and I believe this one, well, this is a green clay. I have two green clays here that I use. This is, let's see, it says bentonite, calcium bentonite, and this has, um, is similar. I think it's called Montmorillonite, something like that, so anyways. There it is. So this is the Now Solutions brand, European clay powder, Aztec uh, Indian healing clay powder. 
And this I actually buy on Vitacost. And then this one is another one of the Now, the Now brand. I just buy at my local Whole Foods store. So this is the Moroccan Red Clay Powder. And all three of these, they're just powders. That's all it is. It's the one ingredient. There's nothing else in there. And you mix it yourself. Um, so those are the masks that I really like. And I, I do different um, sort of, I don't know, like recipes where I mix my essential oils and whatnot in there or tea tree oil in with those. And I will mix like this one. I already did a video showing uh, one of the ways that I use this. I will mix it because you can mix these with water or you can use other, other ingredients. So I, I like to use my Thayer's Rose Petal and Witch Hazel. This is alcohol free. That's something else that I realized with a lot of natural skincare products is a lot of them have alcohol. Uh, and I'm not talking like, I mean, there's different kinds of alcohol. Some are good for your skin, and then some are like SD alcohol, you know, denatured alcohol. And that, I found, really irritated my skin. Like, I could start pinpointing which products I, I would get irritation from, and I would see, okay, that's a common ingredient in all of those that are ir irritating my skin, is the alcohol. So, I switched to alcohol-free. Everything is alcohol-free. And then I started getting into essential oils, and I was looking for three main properties for the essential oils I was going to choose, and that was anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, and antibacterial. And those are excellent properties for keeping your skin clear and maintaining clear skin, and also just the overall health of your skin. But also, a lot of the oils are good for acne scarring, and scars in general. So I was wanting to fight both any acne breakouts, you know, prevent breakouts overall, instead of just like spot treatment. I think in the past I was focused on, you know, oh, look at that, you know, like that sunspot or that dark spot or that acne scar or that acne mark. I want to fade those, you know. Instead, I have now switched to overall skin health and it's made like a huge difference. The oils I'm going to start with here are the first ones that I discovered, and the very first one I started using was, which was like several months ago, this is the Desert Essence Tea Tree Oil, and I mix this into my masks, uh, and you only take, you know, like one or two drops does it, and I will mix it into, you know, with other oils or whatever, a carrier oil. Now essential oils usually, I believe, the majority of the time need to be mixed with a carrier oil or something else. You shouldn't be using it straight on your skin because uh, then it could cause irritation and it's it's very harsh. So you got to mix it with something else. So I use the tea tree oil. Um, another one that I use is the Desert Essence Lavender and Tea Tree Oil. So lavender is, so okay, tea tree oil and lavender are two amazing oils for acne. It just I just can't even believe, like this little bottle alone, the, the lavender, and by the way, I'm not a fan of, I wasn't a fan of lavender. I, I didn't used to like the smell of it at all, and in fact, I kind of avoided anything that had lavender in it, until I realized that it's like liquid gold for acne breakouts. Now I love it. So, and I, I don't mind the smell. The smell is kind of like, now it's grown on me, so now I, I do kind of like it, which is surprising. But yeah, this is like my liquid gold right here. That helps keep my breakouts at bay now. And I just can't even believe how much better my skin is using these simple oils and, you know, clay. Just, it's just crazy to me. Another good one is lemon oil, rosemary oil. I just have a small collection of oils right now that I test and I make sure that, you know, I give them a lot of time. I don't just like switch around like crazy on these. I'm giving each oil quite a bit of time to see what it does, see if it helps with scarring, all of that. The three main carrier oils that I use are jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, and sweet almond oil. So those are the three that I have right now, and I've been enjoying using those, and like I said, I mix the essential oils with the carrier oil, and usually just on a cotton pad, and then I will use that as my toner, and that doubles as my moisturizer too. Like, for example, this one here, my, my liquid gold, my lavender and tea tree oil, I take a cotton pad and I will take this rosehip oil, and this is actually a combination of rosehip with vitamin E, and so you can use that by itself, but I will put a little of that on a cotton pad and then put in a drop or two of this, and then that's my toner and my moisturizer in one. So you guys have been asking what I'm using on my skin all of a sudden, that it's like you know, looks better, <laughs> it's, it's that. That's the combination right there. 
and my skin's like moisturized. I haven't worn a, um, what do you call it, a highlighter. I haven't worn any highlighter. It's just my skin, the overall health of my skin has been highly improved by using essential oils with carrier oils and then doing my little um, masks like these. So I do those, like, I'll do one once a week and then do another, like, a few days later. So I do, like, one of these clay masks twice a week. If twice a week is too much for you, because they can be drying, if you overdo it, you can, it can be too drying. So if it, you know, if you have dry skin, then I would just do that, like, once a week. This is, this is another one I'm not sure, I don't want to mess up the pronunciation, Tamanu oil. And this is from Vietnam, but it's also, uh, it grows in the South Pacific, um, the tree, so... That is one that's supposed to be really great for scars. And then the Cebu Beauty Buck, uh, Sea Buckthorn Oil is another one that's supposed to be great for scars. So I'm still testing these out slowly one by one, but I can say for sure that tea tree oil, lavender are amazing for acne, acne scarring. Um, lemon is supposed to be, I, I know I already showed this before, but this is supposed to be really good for acne and acne scarring, like lightening acne scars. Um, something else I want to talk about is argan oil. Alright, so I compiled an argan oil price list here for you guys because I don't want anyone to feel that to get 100% pure organic argan oil, you have to go out and spend a bunch of money on it because that's just not true. There are other brands that are a lot less and it's the same exact product. So I'm going to go ahead and share those with you right now with prices. So you could purchase at Sephora the Josie Moran half ounce argan oil for $14. Or you could purchase the Oracacia one full ounce for $8.66 on Vitacost. Now, Josie Moran also makes two other sizes. They have a 1.7 ounce for $48. Or you could go to your local health food store and purchase the Now brand. Again, 100% organic, 100% pure argan oil, same product for $15. This is two ounces. For $15 versus Josie Moran 1.7 ounce for $48. So overall, was my natural skincare journey worth it? Yes, absolutely, 100%. And do I have any regrets about it? No. Re regrets about having to purchase the products that I did and go through, you know, skin reactions and whatever? Nope. I wouldn't take any of that back because had I changed one little thing about that journey, I might not have taken the path I did to get to where I am now. And this is exactly where I want to be. So I'm, I'm super happy about all the products I've found. They have reduced redness. They have reduced any acne breakouts. Now, I'm not saying, like, there are no miracle products out there. But these have done, well, these are pretty darn well close for me. Now, everyone's skin is different, so, you know, if there, if you try something out that I'm using and you have a reaction to it, then don't use that, right? We all have our individual skin that likes individual products, and you've got to go with what your skin likes. But this, I've definitely found a combination that my skin loves, and it's, it's reduced acne, breakouts, redness, and it's overall improved, I think, the circulation um, of my skin and the... Uh, the, I want to say like the complexion, like I can see my color, the color in my complexion is much better now. And yeah, I pretty much owe it all to essential oils and my clay masks. So very simple ingredients and yeah, I, I wouldn't change anything from this journey at all. So, uh, you know, one thing I didn't mention was coconut oil, which I use just as my eye makeup remover. I don't really, uh, put this all over my face. I know some people do, but um, yeah. So that's one, that's another oil that I do have, but I really just use it to remove my eye makeup and uh, for my hair. Hair products is a whole separate, like my natural hair products, that's a whole separate video in itself. And I do want to do other videos. I want to keep going on this because this is, this is an area that I'm really, really interested in. And I want to, I want to share my hobby with you guys. So, and you know, all my findings and whatever. Now, um, with that said, I, I do have a couple of other videos planned. One is beauty secret or ancient beauty secrets. Um, maybe some recipe type videos, like some other ways of using the clay masks uh, or oils, mixing certain oils together uh, for toners, moisturizers. Oh, did I mention for under eye? I know I got some questions about that. What I use for under eye, I pretty much just use my rosehip oil and vitamin E. And I'll just put that on a cotton pad, and that's kind of like my moisturizer. I don't, I don't use 
any other moisturizers anymore. This is it. Um, oh, I will use, you know, other things like other oils like, you know, jojoba oil or a sweet almond oil sometimes. And I'm going to list below too, like, you know, certain oils that you can look for that are really good for acne and acne scars and whatever. So I'll try to post as much as I can in the description box down below. Um, and again, like I said, I order as much as I can on Vitacost and then also my health food store. So I'll have a link down there because I still have a coupon where you can save $10 and anyone can do that. It's just a referral code that you, you know, anyone can get $10 off their order and you can continue on too. So you can refer people and then you both get credits. So anyways, that's how that works. So I think that I would also like to ask you guys if you have any of, like, I know I have people that watch me from all over the world and I'm really interested in researching what other parts of the world are using and doing. So that's kind of where my, my focus has gone to India and Africa and other places, you know, uh, South Pacific Islands, what they're using. And I want to do some videos that kind of focus on these different places. So if you guys have any like home remedies or special kind of little natural beauty secrets that you do, I would love for you to share them in the comments section down below. And then we can like read through all of your sort of tips and tricks and um, maybe some oils or products that you like to use and how you like to use them. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.